Did you know that a search on ChatGPT consumes 10 times more electricity than a single Google search? The data centers that power these searches, along with so many other things in our digital lives, are seeing explosive growth. And these data centers require so much computing power that their global energy consumption could double 2022's demand by 2026. The Pacific Northwest is home to a large data center market, and Washington State alone has at least 87 of these server farms. In the 2000s, Microsoft and Yahoo started building data centers in central Washington, drawn to some of the cheapest electricity rates in the U.S. because of the state's clean hydropower dams. In 2010, as a way to create jobs after the Great Recession, lawmakers started giving tax breaks to data centers. The tax cuts lapsed, were quickly reinstated, and then expanded in 2015 and again in 2022 when data centers became one of Washington's largest corporate subsidies. Companies have saved more than $474 million since 2018, and Microsoft has gotten about 65% of those savings. The state is now at a crossroads because in 2019, the legislature passed a measure to make Washington's electric utilities carbon neutral by 2030. But at the same time, lawmakers keep encouraging the growth of the data center industry through the tax breaks. In one Washington County, data centers now consume more power than any other category of ratepayer, nearly 40%. Utility officials said that the increased demand made relying on the county stamps risky, so they signed contracts with big companies that trade in energy, exchanging most of its hydropower for a steady supply of electricity generated by other unspecified sources of energy, which experts say are usually carbon-emitting fuels like natural gas. Lulu Ramadan and Sydney Brownstone of the Seattle Times for ProPublica's local reporting network explored how these centers strain the power grid and how other states with similar incentives are working to make the industry's tax breaks more transparent. Check it all out at the link in bio.